Hey guys, so today we are going to implement uh, dependency injection uh, for our UI framework. To start with, what we I'll do is I will have to go to my pom.xml file and there I have to add a special library called as Cucumba Pico container library. Once I do that, um, I will have to go back to my search step definition file. And if you see right now, I have around three objects which I would like to share to the various different step definition files. Right now, there is no problem because I have only one step definition file, search step definition. So it's no, no problem because uh, the, uh, the way I am sharing this web driver, you know, across my different methods, various methods. So it's being used here, it's being used here. Uh, it's all in the same class, right? So the way I am sharing it is, I'm put made it as a instance variable and I can actually make use of in, inside these methods. Now the problem appears when you have more step definition files and all step definition files would like to have a same instance of driver. So for example, here I'm doing, I have a browser open and URL is navigated. And let's say I search for a product as is placed inside a second step definition file, separate step definition file. So let me do that as well. Let me show you what I'm trying to say here. So let me create a step definition file. I'll name it as search step depths, for example. Okay. Oh, it's already there. Search step depths one, for example, finish. And then what I'll do is I will move this method from here and I will put it here. All right, now let me remove the errors first. So, okay, see, now the problem is that this is a driver here. It, this method requires a driver, but for this specific class, there is no driver available. Okay, so if I go back here, the driver is available here. It is right now null. The moment this step gets executed, it will initialize the driver. So this is the declaration. This is the declaration. This is the initialization here. Now once we, I initialize it, it's only available inside this class. So web driver is declared here. So it's the scope of this variable is only available inside this class. So how will I make this driver available in this specific class, which or maybe it's a, it's a different class? How will I make this available here, right? So there are multiple ways of doing it. Uh, one is either I could create a parent class and I will mark this variable driver as, as static there so that if I make first of all it will be available in both the classes because there will be parent class and it will be available in both the classes because both will be extending it uh, other than that uh, I will also have to make it static because I would like to share the state so initialization will happen here and once the initialization has happened it will just go and you can directly make use of it here now that is not a very advisable approach because you have to make that variable static. The moment you make something static, it will hinder your effort to implement your you know, parallel execution because static variable behaves very bad in parallel execution or basically it's just not possible. So, and we don't want that situation. So we will not be making anything static here. So in Cucumber, we have a mechanism available, which is called as de dependency injection. And that is why I was asking you to add this specific library. If you don't add it, you will not be able to implement. Now, dependency, dependency injection is uh, is a concept. Now, it has many different frame or basically I should say there are many libraries which support or which provides this implementation. One of that library is Pico Container, which Cucumber adopted and made a wrapper on it and gave you a dependency. Right, there are other uh, dependency injection implementation frameworks. Maybe you can also make use of Spring if you like, but that would become more and more uh, you know intrusive. Cucumber Pico container is is quite uh, less intrusive. That means by intrusive, I would like to say I would I I what I mean is that it, you will not have to add any uh, annotations, separate annotations to inject the object. So Pico con Cucumber Pico container uses constructor based dependency injection so I'll, I'll explain that in a minute before that let me uh, do few changes in this so few changes will be first is I will have to create a constructor 
okay so as this as i said this dependency injection this pico container is constructor based dependency injection implementation so i will have to create a constructor first of all now in this constructor i will have to pass a object here and once i pass an object that object will be injected at runtime using by by cucumber pico container but what that object would be right so to explain what that object would be what i'll do i will go inside my, my context package and i will go and create a class i will name it this class as test context ui and inside this class i am going to write or i am going to add all the variables which i would like to be or which i would like uh, to be available in various step definition files so first and foremost i would need a web driver isn't it because this is the most important resource of any ui framework so i will have to find a mechanism to pass it through second objects which i would like to pass are these page object class files okay this also is something which is can be used from inside one one object or sorry in, in one, one of the method of a class file and the same object would have to be used in a second method or in the another method of a sec separate uh, step definition class files right so these are the few things which i would like to share so i can also show you here so this is web driver i would like to share and these three so these three is what i would like to share across various step definition files so the idea would be these will not be declared here the way it has been declared here it, these will not be initialized here the way that they are initialized here okay i will show you in a minute how what i'm going to the change which i'm going to do so what i'll do uh, i will create objects common page objects common page objects then i am going to let me import it then i will do search page objects so what happened i made a mistake okay so paste let me make this smaller all right and instead of doing this let me do a dot star so it will kind of import all the classes available inside context sorry inside page objects uh, that's the utility of using a dot star okay so once i do this i will also have to create a getter setter for this so shortcut to create getter setter for this is I go right click here source generate getters and setters and then i will simply i will not generate a set i will only do a get for this for this i will do getter and setter both for this again i will only use get so i have getter and setters for these then what i'll do is we will create another method here i will say public void initialize page object and page object is enough okay and for initialization what i would like to do is i will have to pass web driver here web driver driver and i will also pass a scenario object okay uh, you will realize why i am doing this in a minute then i will have to create objects for these so let me create objects for these common page object is equal to new common page objects come on and here i would require to pass driver and scenario object initialization done and uh, see why i am doing this is maybe let me maybe this is the time i should tell you i don't want this initialization to happen here for these search page objects or this common page objects okay so i don't want this to happen here I, what i want is that test context ui is responsible for creating all the variables and setting and getting all those and it should have a get a set of methods which will be responsible for initialization of these objects which are being actually shared across various step definition files so all the objects which are which i want to be share or which i want to 
be available in different step definition files i would have to place it here and this common page object search page objects is also for this i am creating a method which will be responsible for initialization of this page object class files so this is why i am actually doing it here new search and this will be again driver comma s yeah so my text context ui class is now completed now this class is what i'm going to inject inside my these step definition files okay so what i'll do you remember we created this uh, uh, constructor and pico container is a constructor based it's a constructor based dependency injection framework so this test ui is what i'm going to inject here and what i'll do is i will once it's injected i will have to capture it inside my class file for me to be able to use it because i cannot directly use this variable anywhere because just a parameter of a method so i will have to do something like this here and i will at run time will capture this and i will kind of set this variable with this so i'll just passing the reference of this object which is being injected by my cucumber pico container mechanism or library okay so this this is uh, dependency injection implementation of your of you know dependency injection implementation in your cucumber framework it's very very simple to do uh, you know all it does is at run time when you run this project what will happen as soon as it finds feature file to run and a scenario is to be executed it will check whether the class these whatever step definition classes are there does it require a object and it will find that it will check whether its constructor uh, has entry of any class or object to be inserted or injected and since it will find it it will create the object of this class as context ui it will create the object of this class and it will inject that class okay and this is how basically dependency injection works and the same test context ui object the difference of the same object will be passed on to all the step definition files so respect of how many step definition files are there if you are writing this step in all of this or these steps in all of those step definition files you know so the same the same instance of this object will be available across and this is how what we mean by uh sharing the state so this same object irrespective of i'm repeating repeating this again and again the same object the same object of this class will be available in all the step definition files for each specific scenario as soon as the scenario is completed the rest object will be destroyed and for new feature file for new scenario this object will again be recreated and will be injected again okay and that's how uh it works that's how we pass the available resource to all the same available same resource to all the step definition file methods so let me just finish this implementation uh let me remove these or not remove actually let me move these at the bottom all right now what i'll do is uh, i don't need these variables here so i'll just comment it out because this time i don't want it so what i'll do i will create a web driver here and uh, that once i do that that then once the driver is initialized so here in this case i am initializing it here i could have also done it somewhere here but i am choosing to do it here for some later modifications for to make things simple i am just doing it here i am saying saying it again this also could have been done inside test context ui but since i am creating it outside i will have to find a way to pass it on inside this object because this is the driver this is the driver which i am actually going to be used across all the step definition files so this is right now has value as null so this has to be set first and i am going to use this method called the set driver to do that so what i'll do i'll write test context ui maybe so i'll just copy this this dot set driver and i will pass the driver name here so this driver is being passed here and this will go and refer to this object of web driver here okay now let me go back and second thing i would do is we'll write test context 
ui dot initialize so i will also initialize all the page object module files okay so initial driver setting and initial initialization is happening inside my this uh, step of cucumber now as i said i don't need this search page objects i don't really need these things right because i have already initialized it here so what i'll do uh, i will is i will just remove this step from here and i will write something like this text ui dot get search page objects so this is returning me this object and on this object i'm going to use validate product list so the same step which i have done here i can directly do it there so my implementation is completed here also a driver is needed so what i'll do i will write test so whenever you need anything which is which deals with these objects web driver common page objects and search page objects and if you go and add more page objects you need to make an entry here so if you need any of this either web driver or these page object files or anything for that matter anything which needs 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 to be shared you are going to use this class the object of this class so here i needed an uh, driver here so i will write, i'm going to write i'm going to write test context ui dot get driver right this is done and the same thing will go here so instead of driver i'm writing test context ui get driver dot quit so now my implementation of dependency injection is done in this next is here also i will i will have to do the same thing let me remove these two so common page object right i will i don't want to do it so what i'll do and if you remember initialization is already done in this step so initialization is already completed so i will have, don't have to initialize it here that explicitly because initialization is already done and that initialization is part of this object now and the same object which is was available here is available here so i can directly use this object as dot get common so this common page objects and i will just copy this portion cut it and paste it here all right let me just remove it for now we don't need it all right okay so now dependency injection concept is come implementation is complete and maybe we will try to run it once or maybe before we run it let's make few more basic changes so what i'll do is uh where is my search step depths yeah so this url right now it's hard coded i am supposed to be taking it somewhere from config file so let me create an entry here config.properties right so let me create an entry here called as url ui as this and how will i access it here right because we need the url to navigate it so what i'll do if you remember the way we did in for for our api cases for each of our api step definition files extend a test based api right this is the test based api which is kept here right and here is where what we do is uh, we we have a method called as property load properties and this load property is actually is actually responsible for loading this config.property file and it returns the variable and its values here right so what i'll do i'll make something is here so i'll write the same thing protected let me remove this protected and here we'll write server ui and here i will write url ui why i'm writing url ui here because in config property that's what i have defined url ui so i will do a url ui here and this will return me server ui and i will go back to my let me remove minimize this such step depths and i will extend this extends test base test base api actually i should not name it as a test base api because i am using it for let me rename it i am using it for ui as well so i am renaming it i will remove api from here finish finish okay and uh, all i'll do is test base 
import now i have access to that url so i will just comment this here and here i will just simply write server you are ui maybe yeah server ui because this is available inside test space and i will paste it here so for running purpose i will just run run test ui right click run as junit test yeah so test case is complete uh, just for your understanding purpose if i go to pom.xml and if i comment this library let's say i'm commenting this so what will happen the, when i try to run it now run as junit test see what will happen see the error message which it would give to me is let me show you that error message so here if you say see it's saying step def ui search step defs which is this class doesn't have an empty constructor so here what i am writing here the constructor of this class is em not empty if you need di put cucumber pico container on the class path right so the concept is very very clear here as soon as you run a feature file or a scenario what cucumber does is it checks where the all the step definition files are and when it locates all the step definition files it tries to initialize it and for initialization of these class files it also checks whether we have a constructor if it is a normal constructor or you do you haven't defined any constructor there will not be any problem if you are defining a constructor and if you have written a parameterized constructor in that case it will try to inject this object and it can only inject the object if it has cucumber pico container in its class path which we recently removed to prove our point right so what i'll do i will go here and i will add that in the class path so now this library is available and now we will not get this error all right so try to implement this and i think this uh, was our uh, after implementation of this depend dependency injection we are good to go for our, for our new automation new test cases development so i have put and hold on new test cases here because as i said before we start scaling up our our before we start scaling up our, or adding more test cases to our framework we need to uh, make our framework or bring we need to bring our framework to a state where all the major challenges on all the major functionalities of the framework are completely completed or implemented properly so we are done with di we are done with how web driver will be invoked we are done with the reporting uh, we are also we also checked uh, you know we also created this interact library uh, where all the useful or you know reusable methods are available we also looked something about we also uh, tried to implement log4j yeah we also have to we still yet to implement log4j in few of other classes but yeah that we can do side by side right so uh, after this video we are going to create more test cases and if you remember last time we, you know when we discussed we have a portal called as qa touch where i am writing more test cases so we are going to pick test cases from that qa touch portal that is a test management portal and from there we'll pick it up and we'll start automating these cases yeah thank you